me off and a whole bunch of Dodger fans off when he signed his three-year deal with the Mets. Because Mad Max was capping. All right. <laughs> Max Scherzer, during his press conference with the Mets, he was asked, hey, you know, with your dead arm situation in the playoffs this, you know, last month, are you healthy? Or, you know, what caused that situation? And Mad Max, to his credit, you know, he is a three-time Cy Young Award winner. He's probably one of the greatest pitchers of our generation. Mad Max decided to man up and say, it wasn't me, it was the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? So Max Scherzer went out and he said, it was because the Dodgers didn't allow me to pitch as much as I wanted to pitch. The Dodger, or Back in 2019, when I was on the Nationals, I, I pitched regularly about 100 to 110 pitches per start. And that was that helped me be able to go into the playoffs and pretty much take the ball whenever I need to take the ball. And this time around, the Dodgers had me on a pitch count to get me to the playoffs. And that was the reason when I tried to do the same thing I did with the Nationals, I wasn't able to do it and my arm died. So everyone was like, oh, okay, seems legit. Max, Max isn't a liar. But the numbers don't support this at all. What do you guys think about Max Scherzer seemingly placing blame on the Dodgers and not himself? For causing his own injury. Okay, so Scherzer knows something's up with his arm. He's getting right. older, the stanima. <clears throat> you know, he's not a young buck anymore. And he just robbed the Mets for $43 million a year, right? <laughs> so he's in that awkward phase of where he couldn't get through the, the playoffs because of his arm issue. And now he's being faced with having to be the face of the franchise to bring uh, the Mets back to prominence and basically revive a dying franchise. Right. So right now, I think this is just an excuse to hold him over through the offseason because a lot of pressure is already starting. And he, you know damn well every night he's hoping and praying that his arm goes back to normal. And I think it's just it all comes down to an excuse that doesn't really make any sense. So so I think uh, first off, one thing that you said, the ownership and the managers taking advice from Dave or, or from Dave Roberts and taking it like Max Scherzer is a is to say I'll be all. So at some point you do have to kind of blame the Dodgers. At some point you do have to blame the Dodgers. It, they are responsible. They are the managers. They they set the, the the card and all that. However, just like Shy said, and just like uh, his, his arm's dead, and he 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 got a bag, and he's going to go to New York and uh, live it up. See, I think. I mean, hopefully his arm is well by the time uh, baseball starts, whenever it does start. And I feel like it will be. But, like, this dude, and this is, this is hard. Because on one hand, I love Max Scherzer because he's, he's like the ultimate competitor. He's, he's a pitcher you want on your team because he'll take the ball whenever and he'll say, damn it, put the team on my back, I got us. And then what I've watched with him in this little half season he spent with the Dodgers, the guy sometimes – has a tendency to have like these excuses already built in. So every bad start he had, including the playoffs or whatever, there was always something. Whether it was, oh, I, I have hamstring tightness, that's why I couldn't pitch to my full capabilities, or oh, um, I was a little fatigued, or I didn't have certain uh, my command this time around, so I was kind of laboring. And it's like, hmm, anytime you pitch well, it's always, oh yeah, you know. That's who I am. I want the ball. But every time you have a shaky start, then it's something else. But it just seems like, and this is, I know people are going to see this video and be like, man, what the hell are you talking about? But it seems like he was avoiding taking the big L's because he had a contract coming up. And he didn't want to be the blame. Told me a couple days ago. I, you got to get rid of this echo. Hey, but some, there's just some people out there that have personalities that they don't like taking responsibility. Right. And he, it's pretty obvious he's one of those guys. And yeah. that that was the only thing that made me very angry about his. Because all you had to say was, hey, guys, I'm 37. I just did too much. I tried to do too much. I tried to just be a little. I tried to be me, but I'm getting older. I couldn't do it. That's all you had to say. But to turn the, around. Go yeah, ahead. I was going to say, the crazy thing about it is it would have made more sense, like his excuse, if he said, the Dodgers overused me, man. Right. They just yeah. used me too much. Right. But it's like the opposite of that. Yeah. It makes no sense. Which makes no sense. And then I feel like also if the same thing would have happened, the Dodgers kept using him, he would have used that as an excuse. The Dodgers exactly. overused me. Exactly. So, uh, well wishes to Max Scherzer, but you need to stop capping. All right? <laughs> Your ass is old. 
Stop lying out here. All right. It's okay. We he's going to come out. out his first game back. He's going to throw a no hitter. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to look up at you and be like, <laughs> oh.